Station towards B, it's it's always a little bit scary, and that's why they're leaving Darien still around market. But as Global starts to move closer, elbow, they might just be able to break things open. Anguis has that camera open 24-7 here. Nades being thrown out already. There's the wingman wow. for the easy plats, not even going to be a cancel, deny, or anything. Blaze King does get the kill onto Crazy Guy as well. This is a great, great start here for Global Esports. Players of Bleed yeah. stuck at the back of that A site. That spike is planted right at the precipice of those traps, and Global don't even have to commit them to the site itself. They can just stay all day long here on Elbow as the rest of Bleed now Yo, start to move right in. They chillin'. Bleed has to go yeah. in for that defuse, and as soon as they stick, the spray comes in, and it's just post-plant delays for days. Ooh. Lots of efforts here for both Egoist and Durian. Durian somehow making it work, but time not his friend. It shall be his enemy, and it shall be... ...legated towards A instead. Colby's in trouble. Can he get out of harm's way, though? He's alone on an island. He's already brought out his classic because he was just losing so much ammunition as well as HP as he pushes through. He wanted to get that pinch so that his teammates could push up to B main, and when that fails, Global Esports now left scratching their heads, hoping that maybe their other lurker, Benkai, is going to find some contact and success here on top mid. Okay, that... That's a little bit wishful thinking, you know? Just Mosh <laughs> shots up over the stairs. No! No way he survives! Oh he didn't. I mean, no shot connected from Russ, but that Mosh pit was enough. And he's got Thrasher available now, but... You know, still a lot of players to work through. I think I can jump over this, but... Scary's prepared to hear the shot. They're here to jump and punish the uh, transition. There it is. Last player stand. And there it is. Did pull a little bit of attention away. But unfortunately, at this moment, not quite enough. 50 seconds left, so they still have some you know, options. But the Thrasher being spent now is just a bit of info. If anything, a bit of a tell for Bleed to actually reinforce the A site. Darian is here with a showstopper available. 30 seconds. He's getting mighty close to first contact right now, and he's not going to be left. unaware of Blaze King. That might be a big mishap in Bleed's decision-making. And immediately, Global Esports, you see them opening up the site, and that's what they were looking for. All down to Egoist. Global's calls pretty damn solid here, Quack. And again, like I mentioned, Glo Egoist just forced to save the weapon for the moment. Whether or not it's going to be enough, it's the left. other thing. Oh, it might just wire. be a retake game for Bleed at this point. There's a tripwire there as well in Link. If anybody pushes that, that is... Should be an easy kill here for Scary. Ye is by himself. He's already activated both of his snake bites right now. So he can't really push up without any smoke coverage. So he has oh, to wow. back away and just wait for his teammate to go with him. Now, it's going to be a straight-up firefight here at the back of the site. And it hasn't really panned out well for, Glo uh, for Bleed. Excuse me. Now, Global is going to be left. Or excuse me, Bleed is going to be left with Scary and Egoist. Scary is already at the site, but save. can't really push. Egoist now... Are they just... It looks like they want to fight for this. They're not going to save at all. They don't want to risk any more of the rounds. Paranoia activated here. That's Maybe try to brute their force their way against a team that loves, knows, is the definite meaning of brute force. And that's going to be global with four rounds in this first game to lose, um, you know, contact or any kind of info on the map. Start doing this. But anyways, Polvi rips one out. Is he going to find Egoist? That's going to be huge. If he does, Egoist survives. No way. It clips. It clips the stairs here, Quack. And that allows him to break through the traps right there. Like the fast can't get in quick enough. And this leaves Rush, the IGL, once again by himself in a position where he oh. might as well just fall down, which he does. Very much so ready to receive it too. Polvi. It's an op versus op, but Darian's got the other angle. Takes down Lightning fast. And as it happens, Crazy Guy comes back in around just to check. Yikes. Polvi's on an operator, so you can't really deal with so many angles, slow pushing like that when no one is checking your six. One at the corner here. Crazy guy actually picks himself up the operator, wants the challenge, and they will get punished gloriously by Ben Kai. If he finds some opening here, maybe somehow this rampart G fighting truly will turn into a G winning. Very, very careful. 
And look at how they're still maneuvering across. Still Bankai on the lurk. Carefully checking corners. They want to make sure that they can keep the numbers advantage as they execute in, but Scary does not let that happen. Lightning fast, already down. Yay and Egoist. Ooh, look at this, backside control. Lightning fast cannot get out. Shot and step. I catched up by Yay. Three kills and bleed four to six. On elbow here. They're much more okay with fighting A main or A link, excuse me, than elbow without any of those utilities. Where's the cages though? Does he have no money for the cages? Not too sure, but at the very oh, least, there yeah, is. there's one up by elbow. He knows that this is a spot that Global has approached many times before and wants to counter it. Oh, that's a huge haunt. Who's got the here's the party? That is going to be Durion dunking it in the face of Benkai. And this is a bloody take here for Bleed. Somehow manages to get in. Durion throws out the nade. Can he find one? Lightning fast with the late lurk and the counter late lurk from Ye. It's one to one. Two versus two. Retake will have to be done here by Bleed. But Global Esports, they've doubled up. They got a solid positioning right now. And Durion still holding this operator. We'll have to wait for Ye to double up with him. But Ye just runs into the side and well, trips up face first into the embracing hands of Polvi and teammate. Have been clamoring every single time. We've seen it on social media. Always giving their uh, beloved team that support. Holby's the one right now with the showstopper. How does the not connect on Yade on the corner? Doesn't matter, still gets the kill. Man is on a tear here. Global Esports want to make a statement to end this first half if they can. Still have to be very careful as they know that Bleed still has working pieces. They've only found Ye. They haven't gotten Durion, and, uh, Durion yet, who has been such a, such a, uh, a thorn with this operator. They're making a lot of noise here on mid side right now, Quack, but they're coming back to A where Durion seems to be prepared, but is he truly? Yeah, I don't know how you can escape with this one. Oh! oh my goodness! He doesn't need to escape, man. He only needs to thrive, and he gets the collateral. Polvi does shut him down very quickly. Damage be done. Has to pick up the spike, 30 seconds. His teammate, Lightning Fast, trying to get that clearance so that there is a lot more opportunity for Polvi to push up onto the A site more securely. The big problem is, can he? Also, just gonna point it out there, does Crazy Guy have some nasty little lineup for a default plant because he's got two shock darts. I don't know where, I don't know how. I kind of expect him to be able to do that. If not, at the very least, huh? he's got the recon for his team to come in at the retake. They've got the numbers for it. But Polvi has paint shells too. I don't know if he wants to push out even further though. That's the thing. Because he might get punished wow. and that's basically going to be the round for Bleed now. You know, I was thinking that he was going to use all of those utilities of his, but he doesn't really need to. You know why? They're not expecting him to be on the site. Yeah. So him just being silent, Trapped on A main, if Polby decides to actually push the tempo right now and bleed, they're taking fights that they can't win. And we're not done just yet. Hold on. Benkai is around the corner here, spotted out by Durion. So maybe this is the fight that wow. Bleed are finally looking for. But there is still so much to unravel from Global Esports. So Bleed decides otherwise to go around. I think they're hoping to maybe find Polvi somewhere lurking. But as we can see, he's somewhere there on top of A link. So they're not going to find anything. But down. if they go to B, this is where they can find themselves a chance. But with market door being closed, they're going to burn a bit of time waiting, checking, and then in a couple of seconds, they have to rush. Either way, Global Esports holds the advantage, right? And that's the most interesting thing, at least for this round. Um, although it's a full new squad, they carry on the same statistics from last year on VCT Pacific. Having one of the most uh, highest number of Yikes. missile round wins as Blaze King taps them all down with a ghost. So now rotation's coming over. As long as Lightning Fast can do his job, you know, he still has that paranoia available. Blaze King as well with a haunt for info. Yeah. I was, just, I was actually just about to point that out. How, how much statistic do we have and how effective Blaze King's haunts have been? Because it's been giving away so much positioning right now. Look at Durion! Just dodging into the side itself. Like fast, not gonna be able to escape that Time. one. Explosion from Bleed is here. Oh, that is a huge mosh pit. That blinds everybody. 
Yay just frantically spraying it down. Polvi picks himself up. A Spectre pushes up, but Scary's on top of that case, and that's going to be bleed six to nine. Has been safe for both sides. Polvi, though, pushing very far forward into the front of his opponents. His teammate giving him some leeway to pick up that orb and back away into A main. If he decides to push up, maybe he can find something, but it seems like Poli might have over overheated a little bit here, jiggling a little bit too much, and Crazy Guy capitalizing. And it's as easy as that. Now, the rest of Global pushing up on mid could put a pinch on the late lurking Ye, but B side should be theirs. Never mind, Ye turns it back, and now he's got that late lurk that GE will have to deal with. And it's deal upon deal. All right, we're not done just yet. It's fine. We're charging in. Bad guy's huge. He gets another one. We'll get shut down by Egoist. But as dust settles, who's getting the advantage right now? Planted. Feels like it's bleed. Should be. They are pushing lightning fast. But the punishes and the quick trades for global esports are just too damn fast. And bleed can keep up. As is, of course, by my favorite movie, Karate Kid with Justin Bieber and... Uh, <laughs> Jaden Smith. Anyways. And Justin Bieber. And Justin Bieber again. Yeah. <laughs> Durian, though. Sick shot on mid here. But the thing is with Global Esports, right, is if you strike us, cut one head down, two will take its place. They are so quick at just reacting to a, the stimuli that Bleed is dishing out. And this hasn't been Bleed's strongest recontact at all. We can find something maybe for Ye here. Okay, okay never. As soon as I say that, Ye does something like this. And this makes it somewhat doable. You're absolutely right. El Diablo heating things up, right? Can they exercise it out of the sight? As the Nightfall used very, very haphazardly. No follow up just to scare them, but the pin making it very difficult for them to push over. What is happening here? Endless. He just pops a couple of shots. He can't find nobody, and Lightning Fast finds Ye left in a two versus one to uh, a decisive win. Speaking of uh, not going to be enough. Oh, hold on. Holby's in trouble here. He decides to go on the other direction that might have been incorrect for him. Russ has pocketed himself onto the corner in the IGL. Not falling behind. Let's go. Oh, what a controlled spray from Lightning Fast and Russ. Egoist now alone. Polvi might not have gotten any kills, but his teammates sure made use of the push outside of mid that he has just done. Neural Theft activated. That's going to expose the positioning. Spike not in the hands of Egoist here, though. And he is looking for a kill rather than pick up the spike first because he does, even though he's exposed his opponents, he does not have the map control to really take advantage of that. I have retrieved. Well, let's this think one. about this, right? You got 50 seconds left. You got full armor. You got a rifle. It's not entirely impossible. So he could go in for the spike plant first, but then where do you go after that? You know the full force and might of global esports. At least the last three players are definitely going to come after you. Russ has the Thrasher. 30 so you seconds stay left. in a spot that's you know well concealed enough that Russ can't find you. Do you I guess market is a way. Maybe you sneak back out to the top of mid, come back in with a big flank. That is an idea, but Bankai is watching the back. Oh. Oh Whoa. my god! No! Russ actually found him! Showing what it means. <sighs> yeah, there it is. Cleanups as well. Now back Wait. into it. Last ditch effort from Bleed. It's going to be a bit of a contact play towards B main. They're just running it down. <laughs> uh, I mean, everybody from Bleed was uh, shot by the paranoia of Lightning Fast. Lightning Fast, though, holding inside his own smoke. That's about to dissipate pretty soon here as he pushes out and covers the entirety of the Bleed Conspiracy on B main. Double Satchel from Turion. Man is clean. Benkai is by his lonesome, and that's going to be a quick clean around for Bleed here. It's their economy, too. Turion. They're committing their ultimates here, Quack. Very much so everything. I mean, sure. You know, if he can secure the rounds, might as well. Polvi, is he gonna stab him? With it, with, ah, he, no, like, like, oh, okay, he still gets it. 
I am losing my mind, ladies and gentlemen. I'm so sorry. I thought... <laughs> crazy guy just at the nick of time, right? And then Polvi just panics a little bit, brings out the classic, hits the... the alternate fire. Tap burst. Sure. Let's go with that. <laughs> what is happening? The timings... Have you got Polvi on an op now, though, and I want to see what the idea is behind this. It is to get kills with the sniper. <laughs> that is the idea. But the idea will not be turned into their a reality, as it's been pretty much snuffed out by Crazy Guy here. That guy's hoping that they might push a bit forward here. Heroics from the sub IGL, as I probably like would call it. Anyways, bleed, clean on the take. They just waited a couple of seconds, able to get one. Blaze King trying to hold the back of the side, but will lose control instantaneously. And the rest here of um, Global Esports trying to brute force their way. It might work, but. Bleed have been too clean. They're all the, all of the members of Bleed are just stuck stacked outside B. If there's any kind of noise that they do on mid, or Bleed just decides to go B, there will be no resistance whatsoever here I mean, from GE. This is what I meant, right? You got the timeout. All you need is one round. As soon as they you know play along with the numbers advantage, if they can come in for a big flank, a big retake, Bleed might not be able to hold off against it. So now pull me back into his market. They got more lines of sight. Bad guy has gotten the first kill. Step in the right direction right now for Global Esports. Oh, no. Ooh. Wingman and Dizzy makes Egoist right a here. sad, sad boy. Three more players here for Bleed. Global Esports coming back alive. Yay and Scary. Controllers a miss. They will try to do their darndest to stop the defuse from coming in, but it will not be denied. Yay's on the last legs. No one's still defusing it right now. Wait. Okay, there we go. They just try to spray through the Viper's Pit, but it's gonna get DE9'd. And Global Esports finally find that one play to secure this first map in a phenomenal, phenomenal first game. Anyways, as the pistol starts to go here, contact will be that A site. Very low dart coming in from Blaze King. It might actually have hindered uh, a lot more of the information gathering that was being hoped for here by Global Esports. Bleed Spike now starting to march their way up into the push here. Benkai gets immediately <gasps> spotted, not yet gutted, but he's getting pushed out and his teammate is not gone. Mike Fast is holding on. If he can reposition as well, has the spike plan not yet done. I thought they were maybe pushing for that A site, but with all this happening, they could rotate to B. I think that's the, their option. They don't really want to stay. They're no longer welcome on the A side, especially Benkai down that low. Just a bit of question marks in the minds of bleed players. Have they rotated? I mean, clearly now that you've pushed up belt and cleared out the corners, you're anticipating that. They know they've got numbers advantage. They've got the shock dart, they've got the, the high tide, the cove. They're gonna come in with this retake. Oh, that alarm button is deactivated. It just came up right now. Nightfast is aware, but Durion's too quick. And now Benkai, 27 HP. Man, he has an aim monster. Another one at the flank that's going to be Egoist. His turret is up, so if he gets some breathing space, maybe he can actually close the distance and utilize it, but he just decides to go for those gunfights, which makes a lot of sense since Crazy Guy was already in the site itself. He finds one. Durion's still holding the mid lurk just in case. But it's the full bore, uh, blown push of Global Esports here on that A site. Blaze King. Aye, it's not gonna work. Fortunately, plan will commence and the post will happen. I mean, they've already got the numbers advantage, dwindling Global Esports as they try to push in. So despite this being a forced Ouch. buy, it's not gonna be an easy one. Good shot from Polvi though. Oh, it's a big flash. There you go. That's what they were looking for. Blaze King throwing the utility inside the smoke. Gets himself an advantage here, repositions, they don't know where he is. And you're absolutely right, Polvi's outlaw is something to be feared about as Global Esports dismantling the defense and making this force buy work out in their favor. Wow, what a way to bring things back. It's a deadly force. This is why they picked it up. And uh, on the other side for Global, continuing to push forward now. We can't just stop the spike plant happening. Yeah, it's so messy. Look at this, Polvi. It's not only something that's got his elevation working on his favor. Ye and Ego is stuck at the back of the site. They were able to pick up a couple of weapons. 
but it's just not working out so well for the Benkai comes in from It's been obfuscated. Polvi can't see anything. The tide goes down, but here comes Crazy Guy information oh, gathered. No. Oh, no. Can't see it. Yeah, maybe no information gathered. Polvi and Ye. Here. They're just barely missing each other here. Ye's holding a different angle. It's just one thin piece of metal. There's Ye, but he unloads, unleashes the entirety of this. Durion's been exposed to the back of the site. 30 seconds. Might not left. be long for this world, but because they haven't commit, commit the push fully, he can still reposition. And he is using that wall. He is using the, the smoke. Standing. It still just gets thrown up in the air. That's going to be another great global contact and scary force to save. So. Yeah, I guess now that he's got a marshal, maybe you're trying to find some kind of a sneaky pick. Then again, Polvi trying to do the same thing with the Blade Storm. But right now, Fleet just trying to make sure that Global doesn't get to execute on A as many times as they've, uh, they've done before. But that said, I mean, all of these utilities, even with Scary's Toxic Screen, it doesn't block off enough. They got closer now. A couple of body tags. Ye is in trouble. He's pulling out a couple of those smokes, the cloud bursts, but it doesn't stop the barrage of bullets being thrown apart here by Global Esports. It gave the weapon to Polvi that he's used up every single blade that he's gotten. The rest of Global now pushing all yeah. the way on to B where no lick. You've got Egoist KJ though, so he available. might be able to hear what's going seconds. on. So he calls the rotations over, but again, without the guns, without the here. vision, they really can't do all too much in this retake. Global is just controlling things. Yay, again, getting shut down because of Russ and the whole team spraying him down. And now, numbers advantage, they're just sitting pretty. They've got the Null Command, not really necessary either. Just waiting for Bleed to peek into them. Povey's just been put in a pedestal where Povey do go things. The things that he does, so scary up against Bleed. Oh. He might have overextended his welcome a little bit with that peak of his. And this coaxes the push with the Reckoning. And somehow Bleed comes in. Egoist with the double kill already. Back pushing up the what? huge use on that dart. And in the matter of a split second, it's just been all been turned up in their heads. Benkai gets a double spray down. Yeah. And he almost stops the defuse. 0.2 seconds. I almost that they were able to defuse it. Great decision making by Darian then. And a huge mishap on Polvi. He swung out to like three people from Bleed checking him out. Oh. Which was a big, big no-no. Polvi though, he just got through. Gets the first pick. Crazy guy right on top, but Russ immediately gets the refrag. Dust settles, so that's gonna be scary alone. Man has been the clutch Meister, when Bleed was playing in Ascension Pacific, he was, I think, very shaky, you know, with that match that they've had uh, against Zeta. But this time, it's all very much different. Crazy Guy, you were talking about how he's got some nasty setups, and there it is. Null Command is available here for Rust to utilize to make himself into a very strong force. Even though he's down to 30 HP, shouldn't matter as much, as long as they can use him to batter the Ram into that A site. But... It's a cut of noise for now. They did hear the Viper Pit was active elsewhere, so be a strong inkling that it is B, so no need to push there anymore. And Durian, ooh, what a risk that he's taking right you now. Should run. They are just right underneath each other. Spotted, does he know about the belt person? He does not. Blaze King comes wow. in. Ye does get the one kill, but it is all for not here, Quack, as Benkai gets the trade. That lockdown is still up and running. Doesn't get any detains, but it clears out the rest of this site. So we well, do have a clean 3v2 in this post. Russ is pretty low. Egoist has the lockdown. Might be able to use it to push Global Esports back. But then at that point, it comes down to gunplay. How can Scary and Egoist break up the site well enough to sneak a plant? They managed to shoot out some nano swarms, but at the same time, Toxic Street can only stay up for that long. Benkai tosses in. Oh, you know, Lightning Fast tosses in yet more, and uh, well, at this point, you've run out of time. The lockdown invested, but no returns. Asurai, this hurts for Bleed. Yep, very much so. It feels like they have that. Um, 
And as we go back in, we're back into the same A play. You've got Bankai and Lightning fast up towards mid. But even then, you know, talk about a plan gone wrong from before. Darian didn't really know how to respond either when he pushed up. Ooh, now it's Holvi. Holvi. What a positioning there. And again, they were just waiting for that wall to drop down before they start exploding into the site. And it feels like this plan has been replicated, changed up a little bit, but still the A site is where GE find their home. Sure, they've rotated a couple times to B, but here on A, Bleed have no true answers. They will get the one kill, GE gets two. They'll get two kills, GE gets three. What is the answer right now? Gaze on his blades. And there's really no reason for him not to go for this. But with the doubling up of these two players from Bleed and that spike positioning not really to his favor, man is in a tight spot, to say at the least. And yeah, I mean, what could you expect? That was a three. And that's what Global, uh, Global Esports has as an option. But you know what? A has worked out so well, they're just going to keep going in for it. I kind of like the positioning from Bleed this time, playing left. so far back. Let them in. Let's see if we can kill the Spike Planter. Play around with the timings of the retakes. Make sure that Global Esports can't really feel too comfortable, even if they have won this side so many times before. They're running down this clock very, very much. Nano Swarms could provide some indication of denial. Egoist, pretty damn good on that one with the kill here on Polvi. Ooh, Late Lurk from Blaze King. Dart. Presence known outside of screens. If you can get a couple of picks, that should be lethal for him. While his teammates on the side are fighting back, and Blaze King nice. somehow manages to pick up Crazy Guy. Durion does get the refrag, but that is time wasted for the favor of Global Esports. Coming in back onto the side, Viper's Pit makes it very difficult for them to push up, but they found Lightning Fast. That pit's going down. Time is ticking. Benkai still alive. Did he oh. press any? Late uh, Nano Swarms. Yeah, yeah. And Russ is also doing the same with the Fragment. Wow. They're buying as much time as they can. Russ pushes up, gets denied. Spike. Ooh, I don't know. It's close. And it's barely just defused there by Bleed. Blaze Surely King. he delivers. Uh, Blaze King can use his. Oh, no! Yay! Man got the opportunity to do so, but he whiffed the shot. And now he might be forced back here and... Uh, I don't know, man. There that, are no words. That, that was a big mishap. There are no words. It is what it is. We keep going forward. Global Esports have been doing such a good job. You know, whether it's the bits of timing or just the sudden peaks out, they're able to react so here. quickly to take him down. But guess what? Crazy Guy comes back Standing in with ahead. the Guardian play. Spike not down yet, but surely soon enough. Ooh. And Bleed are trying to wrap back in around this. Make them feel uncomfortable. Turn the tide activated here from Durion, forcing them into the embracing hands of Crazy Guy. He's been good on the Guardian for two, but he can't convert left. it into the third. Reckoning denies just a lot of this one. Durion is so close to the rest of them, but they haven't planted anything just yet. Player the miss of the bullets, but Russ is there to bra to back up his teammate. And Egoist, or excuse me, Egoist is left into a three versus one. He can get close. Ten he might be able to left. find Russ in member here, but he cannot convert. And Global Esports once again. But as soon as they came in with that force by breaking and wrecking Bleed's economy, they managed to find this momentum and they are not looking to oh. slow down. So far, the default towards the start has been to take things slow and easy, but off of the timeout, they want to let it rip. Oh! Crazy guy's letting it rip, though. He's letting his presence known. It's a bait and switch play between him and Ye. That was a huge, huge one. They realized that Crazy Guy is consistent as ever, even through all of these mishaps that Bleed that put themselves into, and they utilize that. Reducing the numbers of global esports is a huge benefit, uh, benefit here for Bleed. The rest of Bleed, or excuse me, Global, now rotating elsewhere on the map. I don't know if these moments, these movements are felt. Egoist is definitely in position, you know, now deciding to really kind of reinforce the mid ground, although it's not really been a lane that Global has explored before. I don't know how much the Stinger can do, though. Spots the shoulder, goes in for the spray, tries to reload, but it's a quick trade. Now, B site might be open unless Scary can turn things around. Did Blazking already gave away his position on yellow? 
No, well, regardless, really well, regardless, Scary's pretty much aware of what could happen here right in front of him. And makes quick work of Blaze King. More than that, he's a crazy good Valorant player. All right, let's see what happens here. Null Command's been activated already. There's the utilization of the Null Command. No escape here for Ye. As he only gets the shutdown on the one. Lightning fast and the rest of Global Esports as they just keep getting kill after kill after kill. Leave Scary to his devices. And Forge, who wants it more? Well, Povey seems to say, I do, with that first pick on Crazy Guy. Trade for trade, though, but Ye is down to 45. Still the trap for Global here on B Long between Russ and Lightning Fast. And it seems like Bleed only cut a little bit of that noise, you know, looking for that rotation out. But they still want to push this up. Global Esports holding their position. Russ, I don't know if he spotted Ye here or if Ye's gonna check the corner and it is trigger discipline. Ye has, oh my god, lightning fast. Does get the trade off, down to four bullets and he will get immediately dealt with by the rest of Bleed. Bleed now. He's slowly creeping up onto the B site. One playing at the back of things. Benkai swings out. Fortunately, everybody's just too quick. Blaze King does get the quick trade. Does he know about the late lurk here from Egoist on mid that Recon Dart will expose? So his suspicions are correct. Big tags, one more, and he will be able to get that. Bleed gets it. Durian is sitting on a reckoning, by the way. Ah, yes, there it is. As soon as I mention it, activates it straight up. Are they going to push through this, though? I mean, yeah, they can get those stuns working for them, but how well can they trade? Pretty damn well, actually, here for Bleed. Russ is by himself the back of the side, holding on, and he will be able to shut down Ye. Two versus three here. Cove gives some entryway here for Durian, who was able to pick up a rifle, picks down Russ, and is making it a very good case right now that Bleed's bonus is... Pretty damn successful. The swing out, the trade in. Durian has been spotted on Heaven and Benkai in a one versus one. Can the former Paper X player do it? Unfortunately Whoa. not. As Durian clutches for the 4K and bleed. Are Just gotta really take things slow at least. Again, not wanting to make any mistakes so far. The lead is something that they want to keep for the side of Global Esports. Is that going to do enough damage to stop him from planting? It does not. Crazy guy, successful with it. This is going to be a full-blown retake. Lightning fast. Ooh, he's already committed the wall. And Durian's always have his reckoning up and running already here. And that's always to the benefit right now for Bleed. Shut that on to Ye. Going to make it a little bit better for the onslaught of Global Esports, but here comes Lightning Fast and Crazy Guy made the mistake of the jump spot. That's going to be something bad for him. That's already halved, so unless Gary can really do something other than just these post-plant throws, I don't think it's going to be enough. Maybe Egoist can get him, yes! Oh my god, that's actually absolutely phenomenal! Time is enough for Scary to clutch it! Unbelievable. So both teams are kind of doing the same thing back to each other. We saw that Nanosaurum plus Russ's fragment from before. Now it's going to be Scary's snake fight. As we move on into the next, it's going to be Ye. It's trying to open things up. Dashes in. Doesn't see anything. And just instantly going for yet another plant. Time of the spike just a little bit off center there. So the pop shots from Blaziken can't really get through it. Uh, through that high tide. Big flank coming in from Polvi here. No utilities activated just yet. Here comes the flank. There's the use on the Hunter's Fury from the other side to break down that Killjoy ultimate. Once this wall drops down, all hell will break loose. And who will come out on top? It's actually going to be Global with the... It's always going to be a good thing because you don't want any extra space giving abilities to be used by here by Bleed. At the very least, I mean, back thinking you about it, compositionally run. speaking, Here I want to see Garen doing more. Ooh. Locked down. Hunter's Fury, just as you said. But at what cost, man? Look at the kills that they've gotten already. Sure, they can try to break this lockdown, but Bleed, they've got the other direction. Hello, B-side, we go. 
trying to use that lockdown to distract them and, and bait the rotations over the Hunter's Fury as well. And as the Sova stays stuck in that animation, yeah, the rest of Lee, this tiny little squad pro approaches B. Hovi's coming in. He's using that Sova drone as a uh, well as a drone to give him a little bit of that inside yellow. But it does absolutely nothing. He wanted that firepower alongside with Blaze King. If if it could have been done, it's not. So get that control. How far will Pulvi actually push on B long with this operator? He does have Ben Kai right beside him. The risk here is exorbitant. They're doubled up, aren't they? Yikes! Benkai hasn't been spotted yet, so he can maybe wrap around. But no, the turret, turret can actually spot him if he comes around the corner here. If he pushes the same angle that Polvi did, there's still two players of Bleed coming in. And I don't even know how Bleed just second guesses someone's going to push them up and they get that trade for free. There's more trades happening here on A main. And Ye's just like, thank you very much. Give me those two kills. Give me Benkai and Blaze King by themselves for the moment. Because both teams are, you know, it's kind of like the wave and the moon really pushing and pulling with gravity. Blaze King trying to play off of some of these timings on the peaks, but it's not quite going to be enough. Um, always trying to get a good read for some of these rotations, but without, you know, really confirming the information as soon as they peek out, it's always, you know, thinking like, all right, we saw a little bit of presence towards B Garage. Maybe I can push out onto pipes. If I do, Ye is there. But, but I mean, this is like a second awakening for, oh, awakening, excuse me, for bleed as well, right? So, yeah, how, yeah. how do they deal with a bleed that yeah, possibly could go into map point? Big flash at the back of the site, play, or rather, excuse me, Ye just backs away. Quick little flash, crazy guy chasing the kill here on Snowman. And Polby somehow manages to pick up a couple of kills. If he can reset the blades, that's going to be huge. Spike has been denied the plan. Drops right down into the side, doubles up with his teammates. They're a little bit too much Whoa. constricted here, but Polvi finds it once again. The finished superstar brings it all the way back. Never mind. Yay with the turnaround. 183k. And we. Yeah, nothing doing for the time being. It got bleed a little bit of presence made, a little bit of space. And off of that, positioning. Now the reckoning able to push off any global esports players who might be on site. High tide blocks up a lot as well, but Blaze King, good spray this time. Spike planted. I mean, his opponent just popped a couple of shots through the smoke. Blaze King, a master tracer. Just bringing up back the pain to the source of, uh, to the point of origin. It's a huge fragment though. Here comes Russ activating the null command already. Yeah, he's gonna have to get a couple of impact kills here, or else it's just gonna be all for naught. Ego is gonna be doing his darndest again. He did it a while ago with Scary, but not gonna happen this time. And Global Esports. And then we'll have the A site. Then it's gonna be a retake slash numbers game. Unless Lightning Fast or Rust can really fend them off. You should They're run. making a lot of noise. Okay, there's zero point. Lockdown's been activated already. They're still holding the angle here on Maze. That lockdown does clear up most of the site itself, and I think uh, Bleed was able to spot that nobody tucked themselves into the corner of the back, but they haven't really pushed up into the site itself. Are they going to do it now or go in the opposite direction? Seems like it's going to be a commitment. This is very hairy Wait, here for fight. Bleed. Global Esports, they've tucked themselves into corners. Scary's gotten the first pick, but Polvi's right here holding on. Cannot for Blaze King. And it has gone top to Turby on either side. Lightning fast. Anchoring, hoping, praying that he can maybe get something before, or rather, as he waits for Benkai to come in for the play. And Benkai comes up huge. One versus one. It's him and Scary. 20 seconds. Scary's going to have to pick up the spike, but look at this. Benkai's down to 10. Scary. All he needs is one bullet, a hair, a whiff, and that might be it. No damn way. And he misses this, and Scary gets it. Benkai had the opportunity, but it is denied, and Bleed push us into map number three. But at the same time, you know, there's silence in the stadium right now as they feel the tension of the elimination match coming through. Absolutely. Polby, Global Esports, they want to break open the site. He breaks open with this fight against Durion that completely misses him. Both the contact on Polvi as well as that boom bot, interestingly enough. Rest of Global. Now pushing up into ropes. We're oh my god, where did that come from from Russ? He just Goomba stomped the head of Durian there. 
Global Esports opening Pandora's box, but Egoist has been such a crucial factor right now. The wow. trades and Blaze King using. Looking to prioritize the contact once again. Very aggressive use on the fault line, too. Already gonna push through this. Ah, there's the contact, and Durian. Oh boy. Shooting gallery at its finest. Lightning fast alone. Spike dropped at A main, so two avenues. A main or ramps. Choose your poison. Either Oops. way. <laughs> Choose your ladder. Yeah. Either way, it's yeah, it's, it's yeah. He's so oh, yeah. close from this contact. He realizes this, but that fault line is perfectly placed to catch him off. Thankfully enough, teammate Egoist does him a solid. I got you, yay. You're perfectly fine with me. Pings out the Thrasher orb as well. And the rest of the squad is fully aware of what might happen next, but unfortunately, the response not quite as good. Bleed Egoist only able to pick up one. Where did that TP come from? Or where did that TP go? Lightning fast on top of the box, gets to trade two versus three. Russ, let me planting down the spike. Bent guy holding hell here for the moment. This crazy guy creeps in ever so slowly. Did he see Bent guy actually go around the corner? That's gonna be a big one too, if you think about it. As Durian, not really given any form of con contact here for now. There it is. One to two. Dashing right in, but Durian is quick. Not quick enough to deal with the two players still available here from Global. Holvi straight up marching his way here on B Heaven. He's got a chance to peek this, but he's not going to do that just yet. He just charges through the smoke and Holvi's. Oh. Thank you very much. That. I know exactly. Yeah, okay. No real theft to, con to combat that. One for one trade though, Crazy Guy does find another. But with all of these Neural Theft activations, it could actually be turned up to their heads and Russ just backs away as they realize where they are. That's Global Esports running it all the way through the A site. But the counter Neural Theft does get all the information left. that Bleed needs to know. <laughs> Rotation's over, Darian with the rocket. Aye, That's why he got picked up, man. He's, he gets those moments. And when you thought the the big connection of ability is there to shut you down, he just raw talent, raw firepower. You know, he's the one with the showstopper. That's gonna deny some pushes for a good chunk of seconds, which allows the rest of Global Esports to go the other way. They're gonna try to clear heaven. If they're not in heaven, they're just gonna drop down, help out Polvi here. So there's always that extra assistance. All Povey's got to do is to get that information for the team. Spikes it out too. And all Russ has to do is hold, wait, and play. Spots out Scary. He was going to go for the full defuse. It, it makes sense, but... Yeah, you don't want to use it willy-nilly, right? Yeah. So you're going to look for contact elsewhere. Benkai has always been that person that likes to do this. But, oh. Timing is good, actually. Whoa. Is that going to... question left. is, is that going to gravitate the rotation from bleed and allow Global to actually start pushing into the ace, to the B site? Oh, it does. And the Rolling Thunder. You're right, Asurai. Even though it's not maximum effect, it does do enough to push Darion away. But scary from the top of heaven comes back in. That nade is very far off from Russ. Darion might not even know that Lightning Fast is around the corner. Okay, as it does settle, it's three versus two. Durian is only aware of the positioning of uh, Russ here, not Lightning Fast, who is inside this smoke. It's gonna be the double contact, there it is. It's all gonna be up and down to how quickly he can actually get that transfer, which is not really too hot. The oh, paranoia oh. does nothing against Russ. It's a one versus one. Scary's been a clutch master, but Russ can do something what? extraordinary, and that is to be the eye. The rest of that global squad Triple destroyed. Looking to make something happen towards B. They got the utility for it. As quick long as they can block off Heaven. Quick little TPs there from... Oh, that's a big flash. Egoist. Does he go against it? The push out. And it's just too clean for Global. No sweat in that one. I like how, again, Lightning Fast is using himself as a human recon dart where he just keeps TPing in positions for his teammates to oh feed God. off of. But... Benkai also solid on these lurks and bleed left to really just scratch their heads. Ouch. Yay, down to one. No. El Diablo is down to El Uno. No way you like 
clutch this at 1 HP. No, of course not. I mean, <laughs> no. That's crazy, guy. <laughs> <laughs> I, I see what you did there. Yeah. But absolutely right. I mean, step, 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 <laughs> step, step, step. No. Ah. Yeah, it was looking. Just secure the round win. Why not? Yeah. And I don't know what the retaliation is would be for bleed here. They're creating plays, sure enough. But Global's just, yeah, we'll just play our own game. Keep pushing forward. We still have Polvi, who's been so good at these contact plays. And there it is once again. Durian. Okay, there we go. He's got the impact play. Neural Theft slows it down a little bit further. Blaze King now calling the rotation. Hold on, Lightning Fast. He's got himself that uh, from the shadow, so he can pick it up. The spike. But there is a world where they might break him and not. No, he picks it up. It's, it's pretty easy for him. Anyways, hold heaven. They must. Planet for heaven, planet for open. And it's a three versus three on this retake. Still do have egoist up around screens, though. Trying to make their way through. But what it comes down to is how well they can really break apart this heaven hold. Darian out through. Ooh, punches him. Yeah, Egos was waiting for a better angle there if it can. Benkai through the smoke as well. Lightning Fast coming here too. Oh. Paranoia coming out, but this is not the Suede Scary, and Egoist is not in a good spot, oh. but he doesn't oh, need to be. Excuse me. Egoist with the Ego Peaks, the Ego Kills. Clutch. And he saves it once again for Bleed. It was a great picture. It was a picture of them winning that round. Picture of two bodies on the ground. Oh, yeah. Durian so close to... Oh! Ooh, ooh. He's hiding in the corner. He's been spotted, and that's going to be him down and dusted. Yay, holding the angle here. Pushes out with the snake bite, but gets caught in the collateral of things, even hiding inside the smoke. Seeker's been activated here by the defenders, but it's so early that the Seekers won't really threaten the control and rotation capabilities of Global Esports. Egoist now coming in through B Heaven. He's been such a stalwart and a vanguard. Oh. But these tags, man, he's been put in a position where he has to do so much and he might not be able to do anything at all. Yeah, great ways to check, too, from uh, the likes of Rush. Down. <sighs> Only good for one, though. Still good reactions nonetheless, but yeah, you're absolutely right. Global Esports having the numbers now. They get to push in. They got the site. It's just a near impossible retake. The rest of the lead members aren't even really moving. Whiff of anyone. Try to get this B main control. Whoa. They might even use the showstopper, but it's not even needed as he gets that double spray down beautifully executed. They're going to push him up and pull V. Just pulverizes the opposition. Scary holds on, gets a 3k, pushes back Blaze King. No more flashes for him. Does have a wingman. Can use it to push forward, but he waits patiently as Benkai comes in with the double up. And Ye's right here in the corner, helping out Scary with this Judge 2 in hand. Wow, oh, that was a risk. Whoa. That was a risk! He didn't even second guess if he should break the wingman. He just tanked into everything and hoped that his judge would be good enough in that close quarters. And this might all be just all for naught. The tag as well, and crazy guy, he disabled for a couple of seconds, and they've allowed Global to plant the spike in a very safe manner. No, we're not even the judge just yet. Oh, sorry, excuse me. Crazy guy's pushing up. And what just happened, Quack? Just Global Esports feeling that confidence today. I mean, of course, One Egoist with nothing saving. but a classic. We're Egoist. expecting him to clutch back up. He did it before. Knows bullets. exactly where Ben is. Oh my god! Four bullets! A classic to start things in a two versus one. Gets the kill. Has to use the North Death, sure. But I mean, Blaze King and the rest of them, yes, he had the judge that was at wingman play, but they were just so confident how they pushed out. You can feel that confidence again. Wow. Okay, Scarry's just out of there. He's, I don't oh. want to deal with this. <laughs> this is not up to my pay grade, at least for now. Oh my goodness. Pol okay, I am overreacting way too much, I know, but Polvi is creating openings when there's so little visual Visual stimuli for this man. I say like, fair enough. You know, the round just started. He just got right in, and the spike's already planted. Scout destroyed. Bleed have got 
their work cut out for them. The peek out does allow Durion to get the trade quickly against Lightning Fast, Whoa. and Durion just running it down. They're hoping that they can get these contacts. Russ, if he can get a kill, maybe he can rip out an ultimate for himself. One around the corner is going to be Blaze King, but do they know coming up from heaven is Ben Kai. Defuse on the spike, the crazy guy holds his teammate's hand and bleeds somehow manages to squeeze. What a stack here, as you mentioned, on mid too. Any push outs on Rafters, a paranoia will be soon oh. to follow, but did Durio get, not, not hit, get hit at all? Excuse me, for the loss of words, the reposition so that the Aftershock does not engulf him. Nate is available, throws it out of the corner, and that is a great separation of utility here for Bleed. You see Global trying to push through, and they get separated again because of the, uh, the snake bite, again because of that paint shells, but trades come in a plenty. We've equalized the numbers. There's going to be the plant on the spike here for Bleed, but Global have heaven and screen control, but Durian is putting the effort, is putting this game into his own hands. He's already got the 3K. If he can do more, maybe even an ace. Oh, the camp says everything. He has another nade. Jarrus in a prime position to pick this up. Gets further info, just sees one, right? So he knows where the other is. I mean, they're taking a very long time to get close into things. Blaze King can't for what you need it to sometimes, or the timing of it as your opponents move out. That's a little a bit unfortunate. Nade. Does get the trade on, yay. This is just, a, again, a pistol here for Global, too. If they push up, Russ has a stun, so maybe that's going to be something to utilize right now, which it actually is working out fairly well for Global Esports. They've got the numbers advantage already. They're already looking right behind him because they are aware that Blaze King can pick up a weapon, which he already has, and they're not even looking at this. Bleed are so lost. The Strifty is so solid for the South Asian team. Now it's all left again in the hands of Egoist. And he doesn't even have the spike in his, uh, in his inventory. Womp womp. Still though, want to be careful about it. You got two classics, can't lose any advantage that you have. Breach, breach. Round's not over. <laughs> oh my gosh, he even hit the 180, <laughs> but Ben Kai's just too quick. Just try to go straight for that B site. The wall's been dropped down already. Lightning Fast has put up his smoke three times on B main. And Bleach is counting Maybe this is a blessing for them. Right through now. Oh. I mean, it's not a wall, dude. Great timing on the spam. He can shoot through the smoke. He has a teammate right beside him that can help him out. And lightning fast, like a viper, coiled he strikes. Egoist, or sorry, excuse me, Egoist does get the rush down. 12 seconds. Can he plant the spike? Scary put in such an unfavorable spot. Oh, right. Yes, just go in and plant it. And he can. Out your coach and uh, can you call the entire team to adapt well enough to this? Of course, they are attacking, so it's not the easiest feat. Darren does have a showstopper, but this round is not the one that you really want to commit unless you pick up more. Egoist. Ben Kai being careful. Yeah, doesn't want to overstep his bounce as he's the only one holding that A side for him by himself for the moment. Durian is just quickly charging in, nice. finds Ben Kai, uses the nade to delay things a bit further. Does he pick up the weapon? That's the question. Yeah, I think he does. He does. And gets passes out. Passes it on over. And gets out without being traded too, which is perfect. And like you mentioned, passes it on over. There. That was a huge, huge pickup right now for Bleed. The lurk coming again from none other than the man himself, Egoist. Paranoia has been thrown out. Here's the bombardment from the rest of Global. Last Lightning Fast gets one. Blaze King comes into the corner here. There's too much for him to handle, Whoa. but he is perfectly juggling the aggression. Up until the point, Ye gets him. Oh, wow. There is a world where Durion can get a pick on Pulvi, and that world is now. That world is here. We're living in that multiverse, ladies and gentlemen. Darion does not come into the fight here. He's lightning fast is into the corner. But a quick flick and a quick shot does get that one for one trade. Blaze King now just frantically shooting through B main here. His bleed have gotten themselves that numbers advantage. They don't really need to over push right now, Quack. They still have Egoist holding the lurk once again on A main. He can start calling in his teammates all the way around here. They're not really afraid of that mid call. Actually, no, there is a ping there. 
But once they start clearing it up, they should be feeling a lot more confident to start pushing it onto A, which lo and behold, does not have rotation. any Cypher Traps. Precisely the rotations that Bleed needs gives them the A site. However, take a look at what Global Esports has in their inventory. I feel like this Thrasher that Blaze King has, along with the Wingman, um, not to mention the rest of his full kit, might be useful for a retake. Yeah. So as soon as they confirm that the site hit goes towards A, now just setting up for it, Russ needing to kind of stay alive or at least pick up a frag, but unfortunately does not go his way. A two on four now, nah. Yeah, I think okay. you gotta see. Set up Thrash here from Blaze King, and if Bleed overreach, Polvi is waiting for the Kumbayas, the Boom Boom Pals. He pushes right up, but Durion gets two. Ooh. There's going to be the Aftershock right now from Russ. And even though this is a weaker buy for Global Esports, the trades are even, and Bleed still are very much aware okay. of the big ultimate looming at the A site if, if again, uh, Pulvi's still holding in that position. It's gotta be Pulvi though, right? Yeah, and then at the very least, I guess maybe Bleed just wanting to bypass all of that. Transitions over to the B site. It does give the rest of Global a little bit more time and space to pick up some of these rifles. And then we'll have a different round. Oh, this is... Ooh, that smoke telegraph something, though. It's a B heaven that covers a lot of things. Oh. I wonder what the, dis the call for bleed is. Honestly, pushing all the way through spawn stairs wouldn't be too bad right about now because if they can find where Benkai is hunkered at, they wouldn't have to deal with all these pesky tripwires that is set up everywhere. Oh, but... 30 seconds left. Yeah, but they probably won't. Crazy guy's one off from his Seekers as well here. Bankai is holding on. Stay alive. Get the Showstopper in. Ooh. Got some rifles now. We could play in this round. We don't have armor, but sure enough, it's a better fight than, you know, as to go with the classics. Look at how far everyone from Bleed has placed that. Scary's just done. done. Oh, great camera from Benkai. That's hard. Hovi's by himself at this point. Plant Spike actually out in the open. This works in their favor. Now Polvi's been spotted. If you can just jiggle a little bit more for Crazy Guy to get that One bit of information. Wow. It's Time not even diffused at all, yeah. So he has to back away. Gets the quick little punish. And bleed esports. For ultimate still. Able to keep themselves in the lead. Polvi. Back okay. to the sudden rhythm game where we push out. Too much rhythm. <laughs> if we're looking at how you just re-peak that. Trade for trade though, both of the raises down and dusted. And this gives a chance right here for Bleed to rotate and at least not be afraid anymore of you know the operator that is available here for Polby. I do hear the thrash being used. So that's probably to get a lot more information here on A, see if Heaven's being controlled or whatever. And it is not. So Benkai, be ready. Definitely here's the Trailblazer at the very least, trying to make use of his one way. He's got a second. Oh no. He doesn't have a second chance to actually use it. I was thinking about it. Yeah. But what a great spray. Like, of course the Cypher would be on the other side. Of course. Here we go. Second time to do another thing with the Thrash. Look at how far back. <laughs> Yeah, he's actually God. playing. He's been pushed back hard by this thrash, though. Wingman used actually on mail, and Ye has got himself the perfect timing on this lurk. He's been spotted already, but him gravitating this attention definitely secures the round here for Bleed. So, Darion's one ult charge away from getting his ultimate. Rust, does he want to challenge this? Does he want to punish this? He will. And, uh... No picks where the Garner. Durion's just charging it in. That's gonna get punished. Lightning Fast comes back into cover, and Bleed somehow should be at least bombarded and wiped out, but they're holding on. Benkai gets the 3k, though. The man himself is creating opportunities, is creating moments. One mistake, one slip up is all it takes for you to really get punished by it. Crazy Guy is nursing an operator right now on attack. Darion spots it. He gets one. That wall saves him. And Russ, trying to get any form of contact, any form of trade, gets denied and himself in the process as well. 
Ben Kai gets a couple of kills, but he can't do what he did in that last round, leaving Polvi in a one versus four with an operator in hand. But they gotta make something happen now. I think they're using up a couple more extra seconds just to see if there's any over pushing. Yeah, check from B. Globe, uh, from Globe, from Global Esports. Is there is if there's something around this area oh, of spot. heaven? Yeah. And they might be able to play around. <gasps> so both looks actually very important that they stay alive, whether it's Egoist or Ye. Okay, the biggest person that needs to stay alive from bleed here has got to be scary. Because first things first, they've dropped the spike. And they need to pick it up somewhat. Okay, there's still beaming control right now. Durion's coming into the corner here. Blaze King is right in front of him. Trigger discipline could provide some dividends, which it does. And Blaze King is holding on. This is going Boom. really, really bad for bleed as they get unraveled. They took too long, and again, Spike's gonna have to be brought into that A site. But everybody's taking corners, checking angles, and it's all down once again to Egoist. This time, he's by himself, right in front of him is Polvi, and Polvi jettisons Global into series, into map point difference. It's just that one misstep, that one not checking of a corner, and everything just goes down the drain, right? I mean, you're talking about it. We're, we're looking at it. Durian, this is, he it. is he just gonna push this? This could actually just be them losing their lives, but he somehow manages to find Benkai. They destroy the tripwires here and bleed strike back. Okay. It's not yet over, it's a four versus three, sure, but you can never count out Global Esports, so Bleed has still got to grind the two rounds into overtime for them to even have a chance. They've taken out Blaze King. Up next is gonna be Polvi, looking to dive straight onto sight, perhaps from heaven, but denied by Darian. One enemy remaining. It's one more, that's gonna be Russ. IGL, captain my captain. Can you lead me into the promised land? Drop down on Hell here. They know where he is. The reposition, but he's good for the first. Could be good for the second. Crazy guy. If he overheats, that's an opportunity for Russ to get into the site. Just kind of throws Benkai off, and it gives them so much more space on the site. Can they do the same thing again? This Ooh. time, not really smoking things off. It's just Ben with the Cyber Cage up. Blaze King trying to go back in. Why not found. That could be Durion's life already done, which. Somehow, miraculously, it doesn't. Polvi gets Spike immediately traded in the back of the side. Ben Guy's still here. Oh, up. Ben. He converts, and Ben Guy is a hero, leaving it all down to scary three versus one. Neural theft activated. Oh, this is going horribly wrong for Bleed. And scary. He's done miraculous things during Ascension Pacific. Can he do it now? Global Esports close to eliminating their opponent. Scary's giving away his location here. He's got a shot at step. It is scary. 10 seconds for the smoke too. Paranoia. There's the swing out and Benkai for the 4K and the winning play to keep Global Esports alive, eliminating Bleed from kickoff.